Today is the third anniversary of my election to the ACT Legislative Assembly and I wanted to talk a little about just a couple of the achievements I've been able to put in place in that time. One of the first letters or emails I received when I was first elected to the ACT Legislative Assembly was from a young man with epilepsy so he was unable to hold a driver's licence and he asked for my help in getting a dress put on the proof of age card. So I wrote to the Attorney General and after a process a dress has been added to the proof of age card and this is really helpful for people who don't hold a valid driver's license because without an address on the proof of age card it was quite difficult for them to provide the 100 points ID that's often required for proof of identity. So for this young man with epilepsy, for people with low vision, for the elderly or for people with various medical conditions, getting a dress added to the proof of age card has been a really positive development for them. In September 2015, I moved a motion in the Assembly relating to allowing Auslan interpreters onto the floor of the Assembly. Auslan interpreters, or Australian Sign Language interpreters, provide communication access for people who are deaf. Previously, under Standing Order 210, what's known as strangers were not allowed onto the floor of the Assembly. So by changing this standing order, a member can have an Auslan interpreter present next to them on the floor of the Assembly during the presentation of a speech, a bill, a motion in the Assembly. One of my staff is deaf, so I'm really pleased to be able to provide better communication access for people who are deaf throughout the ACT. In my shadow portfolio areas, some of the things I've worked on include making significant changes to government bills, such as the Nature Conservation Act and the Children and Young People Act. I've worked to help speed up adoption in the ACT. After several local families brought to my attention the issues they were facing in adopting their children and how long it had been taking. And I was also really pleased to lobby the federal government about water quality funding in the ACT and to be present when they made the announcement of $76 million towards cleaning up the ACT's lakes and waterways, including for Lake Tuggeranong. At a local level, I've been really proud to represent local Tuggeranong residents and make improvements in our area. I've worked hard for local improvements, including footpath repairs and potholes. I'm pleased about changes I've been able to put in place, including more disabled car parking at Chisholm Shops, about getting a pedestrian refuge outside of the Trinity Christian School in Waniassa, which I work with the local school community on. I'm proud to represent the people of Brindabella and I'd like to thank them for the trust they've put in me and thank those who've supported me, including many volunteers who've helped me over this time. Thank you.